Welcome back. This time we're going to be polishing this. So we're actually going to be doing a two-step on it. We're going to be compounding it and polishing it. For our compounding phase, we are going to be using our Lake Country microfiber cutting pad uh, along with the last cut. And then for our polishing step, we're going to be switching over to our HDO in orange. And we're also using the last cut for our polishing step. So that's what we're going to be working on. We're going to be using our Rupes 15s and 21s. Uh, as you notice, I have my gloves on. So one thing that you guys want to, uh, especially you younger guys that maybe you haven't done this as a job like I have for a long time, uh, the vibration from the tools starts to affect uh, your hands, your joints. So I'm wearing these Mechanics Impact gloves. They've got specific you know, gel points here so that it helps dampen the vibrations. As always, I got my detailer's helper belt. Uh, which is great because I can stuff towels, I can put a light, I can throw, I've got my mic in here. So that helps out too. So I'm gonna have Anthony helping me on this. Uh, the two of us are just gonna start going through it and shine this baby up. Then the next process is gonna be color chip. Uh, we're gonna be using Dr. Color Chip on that to fill in all the rock chips. And then we're gonna be coating it. So you'll definitely wanna stay tuned for those next episodes. But right now, it's time to cut and polish. To start, we apply four small pea-sized drops of product to the pad. We set the speed on the machine between three and four. Microfiber pads grab and hold on to everything that it comes in contact with. This includes the spent clear coat and excess compound. Compressed air helps clean the pads out. We use the LHR 75 for the tighter areas and the tighter curves on this vehicle. We work a two foot by two foot section at a time throughout the panel. We buff the glass too, solely to remove the excess water spots.
wipe the car down with O&R between steps. So you're probably wondering why we didn't mask off any of the plastics or rubber trim on the Volvo. Well, there's a reason for that. The last cut is very similar to the Optimum Hyper System in that it doesn't stain any of the plastics or rubber. So we don't have to tape off any of the panels, thereby saving us time and effort. All right, so every once in a while we get one nice person to leave us a comment on our videos to let us know that we didn't take off the license plates. And hopefully this makes you happy because today we took off the license plates. Just for you. Just for you. Hey! You guys thought I was done with that awkward scene there, but I'm gonna extend it a little further and remove the rear license plate for you guys as well. So hopefully this is uh, making you guys really happy to remove both of these license plates. Yeah. spot I couldn't get off that was dripping back here I yeah. got it off I wet sanded it uh, well, uh, 2,000 some 3,000 5,000 there's still some stuff stuck in here uh, see if we can get any more of it but we're gonna polish this part out the good news is it's all single stage which means there's more paint underneath so hopefully it didn't take off too much We wipe the surface with paint prep to clean the panels and make sure we didn't miss anything. This way we can inspect our work and touch up anything that we did miss.
Well, the uh, Volvo has now been compounded and polished, so it is ready for the next step, which will be Dr. Color Chip and a paint coating. So stay tuned for those next episodes. And as always, thanks for watching. Make sure you like, subscribe, and comment below, and stay tuned for the next series right here on the Rag Company YouTube channel.